In today's Norway tournament, Magnus and Anand fought for the first place. And in this uh, Armageddon game, no, oh, I jumped forward. In this Armageddon game, in a special position, Magnus made a huge blunder. I want to show you that moment. Okay, it's a little bit forward. Let's go forward. It's an Italian game. And it's around this point. Oh, sorry. Here. At this moment, Anand... Uh, let me take you mm, two moves before. Anand takes that pawn. What should Magnus have done? Magnus should simply take back that knight. But first let's see what happened in the game. In the game, uh, Magnus played rook h4, attacking the pawn, whatever it is, I don't know. And then Anand took the d pawn. And now what's the problem with you know, Magnus position? My, uh, uh, Magnus knight is very weak and he should exchange that knight. And Anand won a complete pawn, actually two pawns. But instead of that, what's the difference? What's the difference with taking this knight first? The difference is that after Magnus, after Anand takes and Magnus goes to f8, now Anand doesn't have this chance to capture this pawn because then black can win back. While in the previous position, when Anand captures this pawn, uh, Magnus couldn't take back because was losing the knight. Uh, it could take back, but anyway, uh, he lost the pawn. So, this was the reason that uh, Magnus couldn't, uh, the Magnus miscalculated and didn't see backward knight moves. And this is very common, even in such a level, it is very common. So, what happened in the game is that uh, takes, takes, and then the game continues. Anand blows up the game a little bit, but eventually managed to win the game rather comfortably because. Three pass pawns, it's not possible for Magnus to do anything against those pawns. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.